Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillahilladzi arsala rasulahu bil huda wa dinil haqqi liyudrahu ala dini kullihi. Asyhadu an la ilaha illallah wahdahu la syarika lah wa asyhadu anna Muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluhu. Allahumma salli ala wa sallim wa barik ala Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in amma ba'du First of all, let's say our praise and gratitude to Allah, the one and almighty Because of his inimitable grace and blessing upon us on a blissful day today We can join in FAPK Fair 2021 Fia online. Secondly, salawat and salam always be given to our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, our messenger who has given us enlightenment to live here and hereafter. Then I would like to say thank you very much for the honorable jurists and the honorable master of ceremony who have given me opportunity to deliver this alien speech. In this special moment, I would like to deliver my speech under the title Young Generation's Contribution in Facing Ocean Crisis. Ladies and gentlemen, young generation are vulnerable set. They have bright future to build towards developed country. Yeah, are the strategic source because they have more effort to develop abundant creativity, innovative idealism, never give up and quit. The young people who have many spirit and challenges. Nowadays, they are facing a big issue that have to overcome. It is ocean crisis. It is like a big deal for the young like us. Ocean crisis is not only government issue, but also we get involved in there. My beloved audiences, according to National Geographic, Around 70% of the planet's surface is covered by oceans. In fact, the oceans hold about 96.5% of all water on Earth. Moreover, about 70% of the oxygen we breathe is produced by the oceans. In our country, Indonesia has the highest coral reef fish diversity of the world. Indonesia supplies about 10% of global marine commodities as well. Marine life is one of Indonesia's most important resources besides mineral and natural gas. Ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately, the ocean is being threatened by pollution from people of land and natural forces. Marine life is dying. And as a result, the whole oceanic ecosystem is threatened simply by various sources of pollution. Oil spills, toxic wastes, floating plastic, overfishing, and various other factors have all contributed to the pollution of the ocean. Those issues can lead into ocean crisis. It can be happened around the world, including Indonesia Marine. Brothers and sisters, it is the time for us as young generation. We have to move and act start to work together and make huge difference. We all have to win. The ocean crisis is part of our challenge. We can do some simple ways to encounter
encounter those issues. The first, we can learn about the ocean and learn the things how to protect and restore the seeds. Second, eat sustainable seafood. Choose seafood that is healthy for us and from well managed fishery. Third, skip the single use plastic. As you know, 8 million tons of plastic dumped into the ocean every year. Fourth, keep beaches clean. We can join Garbage Petrol in beach for the real action. The last, we can support ocean conservation in our country. Ladies and gentlemen, as the conclusion of my speech, we have to be grateful that our country has many diversity of marine life. It is our job to preserve our ocean from the crisis. Start from right now, from the little thing that we can do. And eventually, our descendant can enjoy healthy ocean. Individually, we are one drop. Together, we are an ocean. Thank you very much for your kind attention. I'm Aisha Nihaya from MTS and One Surakarta. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.